thing. Oh, God! Please! No! Oh! Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? Systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait, stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusions. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth.
Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence? Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! Primitive, yet profound. Scan an another one. Again with the moo. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground! Mmm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak, that's... Holy mother of... Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! <laughs> Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem and collect the Furon DNA. Harold! Come on back! You gotta see this! They got a talking horse on the TV! I ain't never seen nothing like... I 
am not green. Be merciless! Let none survive! Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What oh, is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old Crypto! That uh, human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Oh, the Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! My radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! Get in your blind saucer and annihilate everything in your path! Take a spin in your saucer, Crypto. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting! Destroy all buildings! Leave no trace! Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age! Been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! 
Open fire! Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans! in the bushes. Replenish your saucer's shields by draining any human vehicle. That's the wrong way. Now you're moving in the right direction. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. 
Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves. But with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? Crypto! I see a horde of humans up ahead, congregating at some sort of holy ground. Here's the plan. I want you to enter the fair, find a malleable human and lead it back to your ship for... questioning. Get the picture? So, that human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. You're not exactly inconspicuous. Now that you're sufficiently disguised, continue using the Cortex Scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. I'm a walking myocardial infarction, just a-waiting to happen. What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. I wonder what my messy thinks about becoming beefsteaks in a supermarket someplace. Mmm, steak. Would it kill her to use tofu? Oh, wait, uh, tofu? What the heck kind of thinking is that? Meat, meat! I like meat! I heard old Jeb just struck gold. Yeah, Texas tea. Why won't Billy Ray stop looking at Joe Bob and start looking at me? That seems very odd. Gosh, Uncle Stanley sure didn't seem like himself this morning. Maybe I should give Miles a call. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Va-boom! What's an Elvis? 
Must be a new type of 10-gallon hat. I want to slap an Elvis on my head. Man, oh man, she may be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. I know. I could crochet a portrait of President Huffman. I bet he'd be tickled pink by that. Hold on to your hats, boys. I'm going commando. What's all this commando talk? I don't know about all that. My bloomers are loverly and comfortable. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. If only I could confess my secret love for Joe Bob. Joe Bob the chicken, that is. Damn, I love that animal. I want to be a cowboy, but who would be my cowgirl? Yeah, 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 town's doing great, business is booming, hope is on the way, yada, yada, yada. Let's uh, barrel through this puppy so I can get down to the real business of governing. Making time with the delicious Miss Rockwell. Yes, yes! Like proteins from the primordial ooze, a pattern is emerging. Scan some more human minds, Crypto! Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Va boom I hope Lenny knows what he's a doing with that mouse and those men. Clearly, the best test of a viable presidential candidate is, do I want to invite him over for a barbecue? That's right, baby. I'm going commando. I'm free and easy. So that's what they mean by a roll in the hay. Seems like a whole lot of nothing to me. Some pig on a spider's web? What in the world did that mean? Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with animals peaceably organizing. After all, it is an animal farm. Okay, I need a break. That cow's starting to look a little too good. What I really want to do is direct. Direct animals, that is, uh, from one field to the next. And I think that would be satisfying. I want to be a cowgirl, but who would be my cowboy? What I need is Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Now that's what I call town and country. Never thought of it that way. I want to marry Miss Rockwell, but instead I gotta sit here hour after hour, day after day, watching this dying wheel go up and down, round and round, over and over again until somebody dies. Hell of a metaphor. I don't know what that Johnny was sewing, but I don't think it was apple seeds. <laughs> no, think about baseball. Think about baseball. Oh, Rock Hudson. No, no! Baseball! Think about baseball! Eat your heart out, Lana Turner. You've got nothing on me. That Ike seems like the guy I'd want to have over for a barbecue. He's got my vote. Not that sleazebag Huffman. Oh, the heartland. Where the men are men and the calves are restless. I'm queen. Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea? All right, Crypto. 
I have analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. I feel a sudden irresistible urge to wear pants and change my name to Ellie Mae. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! I gotta find me a policeman, then a construction worker, and then maybe an Indian. I'd make me a barbershop quartet like no other. Smile and wave. Just smile and wave. Which way's the exit? See the die job. Enjoy the fair! Oh, and don't ride the mangler! It's a freaking death trap! I don't see the die job. Must keep going. Feet killing me. Damn heels. Wait! I left my purse in the tent. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Nope, nothing to worry about here. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger and rounder and saucer shaped. Whoa. La 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 And lots of wavy hair like Libera Wait a minute Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest Uh oh Uh oh What's happening? Oh god please no it tickles! <laughs> it's probing time. Oh, yeah, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Never fails. Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on their way! Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Say your prayers. <laughs>
A saucer upgrade, perhaps? No? How about your gun? Or your abilities? Hmm? Thank <laughs> you. 